Hello, I'm Falag and today we are going to be wiping the floors with aliens. Hey hi, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of XCOM Longer Impossible. Today we have a very special mission, so far I think it's the most important mission in the campaign. That's right, we shot down an overseer. It happened right after the SD yesterday's terror mission, I was talking with Garrett and we decided to run a test to see where the overseer is gonna show up next, how long are we going to wait for it and it showed up in Australia and long story short, we shot, uh, long story short, we shot it down. And uh, speaking of Garrett, we have a very special guest today, Q to him. Indeed, this is XCOM Asia Japan Station joining in for a little view of the mission from the Tactical Operations Center. I'm LD Garrett and I'll just be riding along. And uh, with that, we are going to fuck up some aliens and then debug their corpses. This is going to be a very important operation, so while we are only facing 15 aliens, we are expecting it to be an extremely difficult op. And these are the heroes for today. First of all, we have Cucumber Dragon with a Sniper Rifle Neural Gun link for Aim and Crit, Alloy Bipod and Shadow Device, the Gold Grenade in case things go wrong. She's going to be supporting our tank and the Mind Psionic with Mind uh, Merges and also disable the Sectopod if need be. Next on, we've got Poseidon who's going to be providing us with a lot of explosives and some battle scanners because we don't have a scout with us today. Next on, the Rage ESP with alloy jacketed rounds for additional 1 damage on the rockets and the named rockets uh, is coming with us to provide additional te terrain destruction and uh, damage against the ethereal which as you know is hard to hit. Next on we have Alpha Omega. We got the crit sniper with plasma sniper rifle, flak ammo against heavy floaters that we are going to bring in with a boombox, illuminati gun sight and alloy bipod for aim and crit. Next on we have the mini Faleg, who still can't walk or shoot, but he brings in a plasma dragon and armor piercing ammo with scope plus walker servers for suppressions, double taps and the flashes that need to be done. Actually, no flashes here. Yeah, and holo targeting, sorry. Next on we have our mind psionic. This is going to be a very squishy David Rice with Aurora armor, medkits, uh, mind, beacon. Mimic Beacon, god damn it, aka the Boombox and Mind Shield, who's going to be providing us uh, with distraction against the mutant elites and heavy floaters while staying safely in the back and not getting shot at, preferably. Next one we have Sombrad, who is bringing a plasma rifle as the secondary medkit in case the medic gets one. Motion trackers and walker and servos is going to be our main overwatcher for this mission. And last but not least, the Bavarian Bavarian. Bavarian Bavarian. Bavarian Barbarian, goddammit, who is bringing in uh, his uh, joyful self with reinforced armor, psi screen, impact vest and a shotgun to laugh at the alien fire, drink molten glass and chew up some nails after that. And yeah, that's about it, let's go kick some ass. Got a lovely opportunity coming up here to win some positional fights because we can pretty much guarantee that we'll get the pods we to go where we want to kill them. Exactly. And uh, with the Plasma Dragon and two sniper rifles, we have the uh, range advantage that the battle scanners should allow us Australia to use. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. It looks like very forgiving version of the overseer map. If there are civilians Lots of low cover. Stay clear. Yep. And uh, that's okay because we do have smoke grenades with combat drugs. If we don't have to use them during the mission, we are going to use them anyway, because combat drugs are awesome. That would be after we get back. They've been protecting this ship with their most advanced technology. So it's safe to assume whatever they've gotten there is crucial to their invasion effort. We should expect heavy resistance. They're not going to make this easy on us. Hey, yeah, that's as Bradford said, pretty fucked up operation. We have uh, got a very good cover in the start. So yeah, I think so I'm we didn't. Yeah. So I was gonna say we didn't draw the coffin corner. We've got room to go to the right if we have to. Yeah, that's true. And we can hide in the trees over here or fall back and take that another day. What am I saying? I never fall back. But uh, I think I'm going to take this log with a motion scars uh, detector to see if there is anything moving even nearby, so we know whether or not we have to worry. Yeah, we have a pod right in here. 
So we can. Oh, uh, I have an idea. You know what I'm gonna? I want to do right now. I want to put my snipers in the tree line. I want to set up everybody uh, by that log, including the plasma dragon. I will ignore this piece of cover because this will activate them. And toss a battle scanner and start them up next turn with a nice shredder rocket. Follow it up with suppression and a couple of double taps. All right, I think you've got something that's going to pay well. We'll just need to get that scanner report on who and what they are before you decide if this is one of the times to put the boom box out in play. Oh, that's actually a good idea. Well, so let's just start with the battle scanner. Who's home? Nobody, got damn it. All right, so, inside the wall. Uh, yeah. So it looks very much as if they are actually here. So we might have to open that with a rocket, uh, but that's a command pod, most likely. I was gonna Roger say. That. Now, do I want to activate a command pod for no reason, or do I want to activate a command pod for no reason? Naughty naughty, we're going at this with the patrol pods one by one. Okay. But <laughs> ma'am... <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's so tempting. Hey, so let's make it right and let's take it slow. Chilaga, Mandigo. Oh, they were on the roof. It's not a command pod. Well, fuck, now we're flanked. Yeah, let's see how it works out for where that. Mactoid dropped, he's in sight, everybody's in sight. This is a killable pod. Uh, yes, but there is one thing we need to do. Uh, before we shoot a rocket to kill their cover and kill them, I need to uh, get rid of the uh, Mactoid because it's overwatching and I have no lightning reflexes. You, however, have the ultimate answer to overwatching Mactoids. I do have Phalanx Rapid Fire, if he actually manages to hit it, it's 2 times 82%. You don't believe he can actually do that, do you? It's mini Phalanx, I don't believe he can hit the side of a barn while standing inside it. Go for it. Okay. Plasma Dragon! There you go. See? So the eraser did its job. Yeah, looks like we actually uh, went to mini Phalanx Ambition. So yeah, do I want to waste a rocket or do I want to waste a grenade? <laughs> Let's see. You know what, I'm actually going to waste a grenade, but before I do that... Motion scanner, this is too... Uh, this is too good to be true, so I want to put Brad in position and before I move location. the... There is actually no additional pods. This is the Falek dream scenario, you can stand in the open as you murder them. That's actually what I can do, but I prefer them to stand in the open while I murder them. Eat this. Hello. How you doing? Suddenly a bit drafty over there, you say. Uh, yeah, let's uh, do something about that, shall we? How about more ventilation? In your face. And then I'm gonna double tap the second one, and then Cucumber is gonna finish him off. That way I can have overwatches in case there is another patrol, because this is suspicious as fuck. Mm -hmm. Always good to have a, sense, uh, a keen sense of things could go wrong in a moment. Things can always go wrong at all times. We, ha we will have to kill one with another shot, I'm gonna do it with the, some, with the tank, I think, because... Uh, I want to keep Brad's overwatches alive. Mm -hmm. Actually, Trey, you take it. I need to promote Trey to Master Sergeant anyway. Aye, aye. Alright. Crisp and clean. It's too easy. Well, do we have a full count on them? It should be a five pod. It should be 15 aliens, according to the uh, pizza delivery then, system. Then that may have been a four pod. In which case we know where they're all, they all were because they ain't anymore. Yep. Uh, we take uh, we took care of four that leaves eleven. Hmm? 
So yeah, let's go get that meld. I'm on the move. Uh, where is my Someone back at Uber well. Ethereal Central is having a small conniption. They are assaulting our Better most important now. spaceship. And they're taking time to get meld too. Yeah. And they are debugging the corpses. Scanning target area now. I don't think they've spotted that yet, but they'll be upset when they do. Yep. There we go, we got the meld right over here, and it seems to be clear and uh, easy accessible. All which means it's a trap, so let's uh, just uh, ride right for. in it. So Any bets that blind uh, UFO balcony that is shadowed to your positions position. right now and shadowed to the battle scanner by surface terrain is full of Ose sectopod? I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, that's about, that's about 10. I, yeah. I don't believe there is another way. Though, it may Let's be rock. that the motion sensor would... Uh, no, it's out of range of motion sensor. Yeah, there is a sector about there. That's why I'm gonna put Cucumber over here. Steady for the disable shot. And the sector pod can suck it. Yes, the esteemed misses is rather deadly to those things because that yep. disabling shot is almost guaranteed. Uh, especially after they fix the bug that caused the sector bot to get an infinite number of overwatches after the disabling shot, that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm setting Bavaria as a target practice. Technology specifically to hide oh. this ship. We can Thank you, Dr. Valen. Something extremely valuable. Oh, very dangerous. Yeah, my ex-wife. Anyway, uh, getting Poseidon. I'm gonna turn everybody to the UFO just in case. Time to move. Mm. Target confirmed. On our way. The good thing is we can safely dash yet. Snipers in position. I want Cucumber first so that she gets aiming angles. Alright. And the sec. No! More mutant elites. Three, five mutant elites. That's nice. That's okay, but we came here for the meld, and the meld we shall get. God damn it. I'm going to. Uh, risk Bavarian Bavarian. And... Uh, yeah, what do you say to another grenade to not uh, give them uh, the opportunity to come to us? I'm thinking that'll warm them up a bit. Yeah, they it will leave them with only a corner as I, any sort of cover that they can get in to shoot us or throw a grenade. And uh, we should be able Wait to... Wait a minute, we it. have an indestructible stone wall. Yeah, that's nice. Well, fine, I have lots of rockets. Or don't I? Yeah, I do. You have. Yeah, it's not like we get paid for the rockets we bring home. Rocket off target. Come on! Did you see that? I unfortunately did. Um, this may be the time that we want to deploy a boombox. So yeah, let's get us uh, in smoke and uh, protect our low cover people in the process. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's 120 wheel right here. Okay, that kills uh, Cucumber's capability to disable and shot this guy, but she only sees him, so uh, that's uh, not an issue. We are going to mind merge... Uh, with David uh, Rice. Cucumber can only shoot one guy and she has a 73% uh, chance to hit him. And I intend to kill him this turn anyway. We have A suppression. A another suppression. Yeah, let's put them in the open. Right yeah. here, shall we? That'll be a good drag. Yeah, in the fire we go. And now the music uh, goes all over the battlefield. My milkshakes bring all the mutants to the yard. I was afraid that there was going to be 
some particularly unusual tribal <laughs> dance involved. <laughs> I feel much safer knowing that it's only bad music. <laughs> yep. Okay, we have a 35 and 25. Hey! Macarena. It had to hit, it's a 35%. And Alpha unfortunately can't get a read on anything, except uh, there is a snapshot. Pew. Okay, that should keep us safe. And I'm going to put the uh, Brad on Overwatches because he has lots. He's got a feast. Yeah. No, fuck you. Uh -oh. Okay, if the boombox doesn't put the, any other aliens in line, we have casualties right now. It's not cool. Yep. You got the smoke synergy working in your advantage here. David, mm, sorry, that's uh, your overwatcher. Yeah. Laying down the fire. And even the combat drugs may be the last thing he ever did. Ah. Okay. Oh, fuck you. How did hey, he guess even... what? That's a teleporting pod. Either that or use the landing They're zone. Did you happen to see any alien Sky Rangers coming in? Maybe. I thought they were delivering pizza, but fine. Okay, so the obvious thing to do right now is to kill the sectopod. And that means we don't have grenades, because I have to use battle scanner to kill the stern. And by kill I mean disable and then get rid of the mutants. Good target priority. Huh? What? That was a ton of covering fire. Okay, those mutants just won the party pooper award of the year. Uh, so, excuse me while I go and throw my computer out the window. Yeah, we are gonna have to run the, uh, the last overwatch with the tank, there is no other choice. That's painful, but once he gets into cover, he's uh, indestructible. I love being surrounded, don't you? Well, it does sort of remove the doubt of which direction to attack. Yeah, now we can fire at any direction. Okay, but now we have to... Well, shit. We have to get those mutants white while they're vulnerable, there is no doubt about it, but what do we do with the sectopod? We can't even see it right now. So yeah, shall we double tap and then in the zone those mutants? And then worry about the sectopod? As, uh, I'm looking at your people who still have moves left on the exposed flank. And it is possible, but those drones will spot your snipers for the sectopod to know to move into range. Mm. So do I... Actually, no, I can go with grenade on the end of the turn. See? That way the sectopod won't see the enemy, won't have the victim. After the end of the zone sequence is done. Yeah, yeah. Alright. That's why I wanted to do the double tap to attack those guys, kill them then go with grenade. And then uh, the sectopod would just stand here like a little bitch. Alright, uh, a little less conversation then. A little more action. Oh shit, in the, in the zone may not be able to bring it to the yard after all. There's a whole lot of meat on those boys. I think it may be safer to... Uh, Mayhem to danger zone? Has range or did not have range? I couldn't see. I did, didn't have range on the one that I actually wanted to hit. Ah. Let's see if we can even... Yeah, we would have to crit to kill this guy. It's 83% chance to crit. If we don't, then we have more casualties.
I can't kill one drone. Actually, no. If we do, even if we don't kill, we have command. There you are. Yeah. So problem solves itself. I'm gonna start with the bigger one because he's bigger. Closing my eyes. Go for it, cucumber. Oh, motherfucker! Didn't get it. No. Nope. Well, we tried. So now I'm going to. Here Wait one. I you have a situation on rice that you might want to consider. If you believe that you are going to still take more than about two shots this turn, mm -hmm. if the ghost grenade will not protect the vulnerable people, do remember that David Rice is a telekinetic field psionic. That's true. I'm going to just command cucumber right off the bat so I don't forget. Huh. Usually have... it happens the other way at home. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can we cover everybody? Yes, theoretically yes. So I can just shoot. Or rocket. You know what, I'm going to uh, shred them so that it uh, causes the drones to go back to the sector pod and fix it. Good call. If that rocket uh, you know, actually rocket hits away. the mark this time. Firing shredder rocket. It did hit the sector pod, so that's okay. And the boombox is still working, so might open fire. Uh, we're in a bad spot here, aren't we? Well, meh. A little timely, you know, see me. Mm -hmm. see, it was a good idea to take that grenade. A little paranoia never killed anyone. And the sectopod is gonna be prone to actually come forward because there are visible humans on the screen. Mm -hmm. They're just too far for the sectopod, and the uh, mutants are still going to be busy dancing to the rhythm. Yep. But we are going to need something like a suppression on those guys to bust up. Uh, I can just kill the overwatching one with the cucumbers in the zone and then disable the sectopod. Golden. Here comes Mr. Sectopod walking down the lane. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's kill the overwatch and then in the z uh, use the in the zone's ability to disable this fucker, you know? Huh? Is that that's not the Overwatcher? So let's just make sure that things go right, and I can use Alpha to kill the Overwatcher. Whatever. The important thing is that the Sectopod doesn't shoot me. Can See what kind of shots we got here. Got this guy. This guy, and the important guy. Die die. And we have Phalex rapid fire on the sectopod that is being shredded. That's 296s. Who would I be not to take those? Goodness gracious, that's positively unphalic like accuracy. Yeah, like uh, he should miss those two shots just to be himself. Okay, that's what I like to see. And now I'm going to save the last rocket for these uh, Ethereals. Uh, you still need to survive this, so... How about you take that 50? There you go, that's the barbarian. Now you have to reload with the suppression possibility. David must not be here. And that's about it. So... I think I'm going to rocket those guys right now. I have to kill the drones or else uh, David Rice is in trouble. I will just Good have to count on my snipers to kill the Ethereal. I can only hit one drone, but it's okay. Rockets away. Okay. What's with Danger those rockets close. in this mission? Why are they all straying? Why, oh why? Anyway, gotta suppress this fucker, you know? Commander, 
and that uh, leaves me with David. Heading there now. And I want David to kill the drone. Will David kill the drone? David, please kill the drone. Well, he has your medkits. Alrighty then. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. And now Falek has to rapid fire the sectopod again. Come on. It is sort of dancing on the edge of probability that he can do it twice. Yeah, but only one is enough. <laughs> he actually and missed the first one. Sense. Come on. I think he did it just to spite you. Yeah, and the drone got hit. Running dry. So yeah, now the rocketeer can shoot. And actually even break the sectopod even more. So, yeah, I think we got this. I'm just going to uh, 60 to the hunkering down uh, muton, why not? That's what you get for hunkering down. And then... Moving to position. I'm going to actually use one of the medkits to the person Come who on, needs it. I would do well to suppress the mutant, but I have a better idea. I'm going to medkit uh, Bavarian, then I'm going to All run right. and gun and shoot that fucker in the face. Got a motion tracker this turn because uh, we won't yeah. need it on the room we're entering. Yeah, that's a good idea. We have a command pod over here. Aye, aye, Commander. Which means the aliens yeah. are accounted for and I can do it safely. That's right. Time to cowboy up. One last lonely mute on a lead is about to get introduced to some Bavarian welcoming committees. That's lovely. Good night. And that's the same fucker that shot uh, Bavarian with a grenade. Always nice to see the circle of life complete. Ah, Sibenia. Okay, so we are left with some meld on the map because I hear it bing. And uh, other than that, I think I'm going to put Mini Faleg over here, set up everybody around the, the wall of the UFO and the doors. And no, because Poseidon is dead and I can't break the doorway. God damn it. Poseidon is, by the way, the most unlucky person on the planet. He got wounded in every single mission he was in and died in the end. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, in his, oh. uh, Poseidon was even more unlucky than Brutal Barbarian, because Brutal Barbarian actually survived uh, until this moment, and Poseidon didn't. And uh, this door is closed, so we can set up over here. Yeah, we'll have, we will definitely have to raise the toast for him, but uh, right. it astounds me in Long War how many times you have one or two characters in your uh, roster who are just damage magnets. And it can be class independent, it can be playstyle independent. <clears throat> Excuse me. They are just the guys who get it all the time, and there's no explaining it. That's true, it's just, uh, you know, they just, uh, if they wouldn't want to get hit, they wouldn't dress that way. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check the length of your armor protector. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so uh, I'm going to set up by the door and use the computer for the uh, mini phallic and the snipers to see inside since we have no explosives anymore. Thanks for somebody dying. Thanks, Poseidon. Back you in. died and spoiled my plan. But no, that was actually quite sad that he died. Dobra, dobra. And I was aware of those overwatches then, I just uh, never realized that throwing a grenade actually triggers that uh, them uh, reaction fire. Covering fire is actually a very interesting mechanic, and in rare cases it can be used uh, in surprising advantage. Um, it will actually trip if you've got two aliens mind merging 
within sight of the Overwatch. They'll shoot the merger as he's establishing the merge. Oh, uh, they'll sh you can trigger against, uh, you can have a covering fire trigger against your guys using a med kit. Location confirmed. That's actually good to know, but uh, speak of the mind merge example, does it actually allow the mind merge to be established first? I actually don't remember the sequence, but I would guess no. That's too bad then. Yeah, you could get an amazing double payoff if it sequenced in the other order. Okay, so we have to gather at the door, and that's actually a very bad, bad, bad thing to happen. Uh, for the, that simple reason uh, called Ichi Trigger Tentacles. We're facing it today. Now you have one advantage, which you could see if you lowered the camera and scanned through the door into the room. Yeah. Or those of us who've played on this map a few times know it. Three tiles inside that door, as wide as the door, is a full cover high object. PSEDs. And that can mean that if you've got the right positioning, and in this scenario you'd open the door from that left hand side, that door opener will not be in line of sight of the command pod if it is behind or to the right of the ethereal uh, device. Uh, they, according to the motion sensor, the command pod is right over here. Yes. And you just saw the blue waves of, no of direction tell you the, the same thing. So you have a chance that that door opener will not be instantly annihilated. And everybody else should be far enough back to not have first moment's line of sight. Mm, let's just get the tank over here too. Uh, Tank's gonna be needed. Your rocket loadout remaining is a single shredder, am I correct? Yes. Because I was uh, counting on the grenades to deal with the ethereal. And then. Understood. Well, it's jokes on me for, uh, for putting everything in one plan. So yeah, if the command pod is over here, I will need the mini phalag by the doorway, actually. Yes, sir. Then we have the shredder in position. I don't even want David in the line of sight of the aliens. He doesn't need to be there. He's too way too squishy for that. I'm gonna put Brad over there instead. Overwatch, aye aye. And yeah, now if I stand in the middle and open the door next turn. You hear that? No, they moved. Fuck. No, you had a different soldier detecting them. The soldier to the right side of the door hearing that sound cue uh, tells you that they have one guy slightly to the right of the ethereal device and the other two must be in line with it for it not to have triggered sound to the, your guy on the left side of the door. Just a little one tile imbalance in their positioning. I see. Well, that's good. Overwatch. Alright, I'm going to sp uh, put combat drugs in before opening the door, just in case. Uh, Psylance actually has to hit something, it can be deflected with smoke grenade, and uh, it, so combat drugs also increase the wheel, making Psylance less effective. Okay. Here's the device, and here's the break. Two uh, heavy floaters and an ethereal right. That uh, heavy floater number one is going to be killed by Bavarian, that's not an issue. I can just do it right away. The, because the idiot <laughs> just put himself in a flank position to, next to the guy who can shoot him twice. He was considering an aggressive play. I am considering a shadow rocket in the face uh, as the solution to the ethereal problem. Because uh, I heard he has a little bit of a flu, so I'm going to uh, remedy that. With this. That should also shred the heavy floater unless my mouse moved. Yep, got them both. And now a double tap uh, sniper to, uh, you know, heavily clean both nose streams. Yep, this That's should be a little sinus drill. Yep, the only cure for, uh, you know, flu is shooting your head off. 
that's too bad, but that, that's the modern medicine for you. We can't fix everything. We can sew it back together later. And I'm going to just suppress this guy to kill him. Don't lose your head. Because suppression can't miss. And bow check you out. Very nicely done. Lovely. Too bad Poseidon didn't live to see it. We can send him Indeed. a postcard. No way, that's not gonna work. And we can't kill the heavy floater, so I'm going to disable it so it doesn't shoot a grenade or anything. There we go. You can still catch a grenade. No, I can't because I have suppression. Ah. I'm sorry, I was just I, I I was just thinking ahead of the line. You're there. Yep, now it's You've got there. him right where you want him. In bed? No wait, that's not, not, not the he that's the heavy float then. Another day, another successful operation. And all hells is coming with us. We got it. It's always a pity when you have to trade a soldier, especially an experienced one. But this was an extremely valuable win. Yeah, I'm, I would say that this was the most important mission of the game so far. It uh, unlocks the end game for us. I know you're going to be doing those bases. I know that there's a combination of the pride of doing so and the amazing amount of resources that will gain by it. But you are basically now on a timer. Yep. It's in the it's in the order of 60 days long. So things that we will need for a temple ship, we gotta start thinking about. I am already producing EMP weapons. I will start working on the last firestorm after the first base assault. Uh, we need Archangel armors to be fast built, so we might even skip the last firestorm in that case. And. Uh, yeah, we need Recovered Archangel Armour, that's it. Ship. And guarded I by think the, the tactical side, that's about right. Encountered. Um, what do you think it is? We will not be progressing far enough power. up the fusion weapons side of things to improve the rocket launchers. I don't think so. But your mechanized units are sentiment. extraordinarily Doctor. well equipped right now. And mm. uh, I think that will make up for the absence of the, uh, and the I don't, optimal launchers. And I don't have the top uh, mech suits yet. Sir, I'm picking okay. something up. That's likely something that Another can be uh, ship? fit no, in sir. during the Archangel production time with the resources from those alien bases. Yep, yep. No, no sir, it's, it's big. big. It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's Falex's ex-wife. My, my real wife, not the imaginary ex-wife, is just giving me the face. Guess who's not getting breakfast to work? Tell me that was a cool. The challenges we all face to Wish I could, sir. Yeah, that seismic event originated directly beneath our new contact. Nothing we have would even make a dent in that thing. If you two have any more you know, bright I'm ideas, I'm beginning to think that now's Bradford the time. knows your ex-wife. Yeah, yeah I'm, just, I'm having the same idea. <laughs> Nothing we have is even going to make a dent in that thing. <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, we got this. We have to research and use the ethereal device. And uh, we have to raise a toast to Poseidon, aka Typhoon, who died. Trying to give us the sight on the sector pot that we needed to win. 26 missions and... Sometimes even the good ones don't make it back. We use the phrase raise the toast a lot when we're talking about uh, XCOM losses. It's, uh, it's actually the Montrose toast we're speaking of, which uh, is uh, commonly done by the British Special Air Service when they're um, sending off the dead and if, in certain other situations. And the toast is, who dares wins. Yep. And that's, uh, that's what we're speaking of here. Yeah, that's right, he dared to toss the button scanner and he won us this mission. If if that mutant elite didn't kill him, they could kill somebody else and they could even, uh, you know, cost us the mission. They would do whatever the hell they want and the sector pod would barrage us, so that would we be the end. We talked from the very beginning about how this mission could go wrong and the answer was more than one pot at a time. Yep. 
sure enough, we got a little help getting there, but that's the way it went. Yeah, and uh, you know, being surrounded is not fun. I still want to know where the aliens caught a Sky Ranger. Yeah, maybe they really are within. But hey, actually, we got 74 alleriums and melts, so that's good. I can just repair the shit that they need the repairing. Here. Now that we've backed the aliens into a corner, I think we'll see what they're really made of. Personally, I expect nothing short of pure desperation in their resistance. They've invested too much to go down without a fight. Uh, we need the drone capture. This is the absolute priority for the uh, temple ship. So I'm going to sell stuff that I don't need. As in, for example, the damaged power sources. I don't need those. See, now I don't have to worry about monies. Ah, foundry. So yeah, we definitely need the... the this... shaped armor. Shaped armor is, I think, another important thing. It was for the mechs, wasn't it? It also applies to the mechs as well as the, the ships, that's correct. Yep, so... I'll uh, make sure to notify you as soon as production is finished. I don't need stasis tanks anymore. Or the surgeries. Same, same surgeries, yeah. They were just there to sell when needed, and they are needed right now. So, uh, shaped armor. We're certainly keeping the boys down in the foundry busy. I'll let them know you've got another project ready for production. And we can build the one Archangel armor already. We have Quick ten. reminder. Every time you build an Archangel, one of your Titans goes out of circulation. It's just it, like when you did Neural Gun Links, you lost scopes. Yes, yes, and uh, I was just about to say that's why I built 10 Titan Armors. <laughs> and the next great mission... Great minds. Yeah, great minds, think alike. And yeah, next mission is going to be an abduction in Mexico, because we only have 5 hours to stop it, and uh, we have to give time for our A team to recover so that they can assault the base. So, yeah, that's it for this episode. Thanks, Gareth. Thank you, Falek. It was a pleasure to be here. It was an honor to have you on board. And I'm going to say thanks for watching, and uh, if you enjoyed this episode, let me know in the comments, like the video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and so on and so forth. And as uh, usual, I have to mention that uh, I am deeply grateful to the people who are supporting the channel, and uh, I very much appreciate it. So thanks, guys. And I will see you again in the next episode. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.